he was dad to me. So he was, he, I knew he was special on the outside because of the rest of the world. But um, for me, he, he was my hero and my friend and uh, taught me how to hunt and fish and play baseball and do all those things that you teach your son to do. <laughs> He had um, six boys, so. right? He didn't. Um, but then the, there was the professional side as well. And how do you remember that aspect of your lives together? I always felt that if Dad could be professional, then nobody in the world had the right not to be. So when we would do Christmas shows and and he would be working, it was all very casual. We would sing around the breakfast table and do the Christmas carols for the Christmas shows that we would do every year. Um, but by the time we got to the set, we all knew our lines and we were never late. And uh, so he made it fun. He made it fun. Do you think he realized the impact that he was having on audiences at the time? I think Dad was a huge star before my time. And he absolutely knew that he was enormous. Um, the thing that was important to him was less the fame than possibly more what he could do for others. He was very under the radar and very modest, and he had a lot to be modest about. But I know that towards the end of his life, when he would talk about the things that were important to him, the impact that he had on people, it was, uh, it was supporting the troops. It was the, the war efforts that he made that were the ones that he felt really counted. He wanted to fight in the war, didn't he? But he couldn't. He was too young to fight in World War I and too old to fight in World War II. So, and what impact did that have on him? It just made him do whatever he could do in whatever way he could to be there anyway. And he did. He, he raised money for war bonds. He went overseas and uh, performed for the troops. He went to the hospitals. And he did, I think the most touching thing that he did was that he would write to the parents and the families of the troops um, when they were in hospital beds and couldn't. And he would write to the soldiers. And those were, those were letters that he kept. Tell me about the letters, because you've, you found them recently, or relatively recently. Well, we were, my mom was, was cleaning out the attic. And there's always a lot of stuff and memorabilia. And, and he, he did save a lot of things. But these were in a box. And they were clearly important to him. And he had saved every one of those letters from the soldiers. And, 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 and it was quite tragic, because some of them were returned to sender, because the soldiers clearly hadn't made it. Um, but he kept them, and they were dear to his heart. And some of them were letters from soldiers to him to tell him how important he'd been in their lives? Yes, and some of them were from family members that told him how much it meant that their brother or their son could see him perform. And, and they, all, they all carried a punch. And he, uh, he, he said of all the things that he'd done in his life, he felt that was the most important. White Christmas. Did Dad know how important it was as a song at the time? So it came out in 41, right after Pearl Harbor was bombed. And, and by 42, it had become you know, the anthem for soldiers overseas and for anybody that wanted to come home. And um, what do you think contributes to its longevity? Do you think it just reminds people of a family and gathering around the tree, or reminds people of ones that are no longer there? What does it mean to you? For me, it's incredibly. That was a big sigh. Yeah, for me, it's it's just such sweet memories because it it epitomizes who Dad was and and what he was about. And of course, I grew up with it, and I grew up with him singing it. So it's it's very close to me in my heart. May your day be merry. Let me just share you my Christmas memory of your father with you, if I may. My son was eight months old when it was his first Christmas, and I, my mother sadly had just died. And I remember um, 
holding him in my arms and being at the Christmas tree and singing White Christmas to him. What is your favourite memory of White Christmas and your father? We used to sing it every year on the Christmas shows. And so I remember White Christmas just growing up through the years. Every year we would sing it. There would be a different guest on the shows. But it, it, it was my childhood, my entire childhood. I don't have one memory. I have sort of like snapshots of growing up and singing that song together as a family. And do you still sing it? I only sing in the shower. <laughs> God forbid I do anything in public that I'm not even remotely good at. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. I can assure you it is. It's an absolute honor to meet you, Thank Mary. You. Thank you so much for joining us what on the program. What a treat to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.